Hello everyone, Sons in the Tomb, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Chest Tracker. A fabric mod, pretty much inspired by Chest Counter, and allows you to find out that where something is with prior chests you happen to um, open or visit or put stuff in and such. So yeah, when you close a valid storage block, the mod remembers what was in it and saves it to a file. You can see what you've remembered by pressing the magnifying glass in your inventory. So this will appear in your inventory, it won't just be obviously always on storage blocks. Um, there is also a favoriting icon as well. Uh, now you obviously can pretty much press the magnifying glass icon and it'll show you the contents of a chest. You can filter out stuff, you can verify, and you can reset of um, certain inventories you've already interacted with, I'm pretty sure, which we'll take a look at. Uh, so clicking any item highlights where you've last seen it. Um, shift clicking any item searches with MBT, so enchantments and shulker box inventories and such. Uh, verify obviously checks nearby storage blocks, still in existence. And uh, reset obviously forgets all that you've interacted with, excluding any favorites. So if say there's any dungeon chests or certain others that you don't really want to remember, or that time you got some stuff from a village, um, you can forget those and only keep your important inventory ones um, visible. So yeah, because obviously you might get some like dirt or cobble or whatever else you had when you were, you know, making your way there or something or mining or whatever the case, and you eventually came across the loot chest and you don't really need to see all the stuff in it. Um, yeah, so otherwise when you're in a storage block, you can favorite them to prevent from getting deleted and such with root reset, so yeah. Alright, so just go in and take a look, and I've just got a few different types to take a look at. Um, I guess I could try a few others as well, even though many of them aren't really going to be relevant because they don't have any contents that stays inside them, or they just don't have a favorite, um, which crafting table obviously you don't really need to see that much. But uh, yeah, you just check here, the magnifying glass icon is obviously in the top corner of any inventory as well as your own. And you can see here what's inside, so we just search spider eye, we can see that like so. Otherwise we can select it and it'll show where it's located. And other than that, we can verify nearby inventories that exist. So let's get say another chest or something. We get a hopper actually, because I will test that and see if it can one detect the hopper, which it probably can, as well as throw stuff in a chest that we technically haven't even put anything into. Um, or actually, you know, opened with our hand. So if we check this, we verify nothing. That's going in. We verify now, and it'll actually show up. So we have to actually witness what was inside it. Um, as we just go with a hopper in general then from that point and then we'll just do this just in case you would let's see um, so hoppers don't count so anything that I assume that can be favorited can count is this so here we go in case you would so I don't know all right so if there's any that we haven't favorited like this one here we can do that we can reset Reset and confirm that, and we haven't for the wool. The furnace we have, and now it's updated, showing that we have. The lapis, there's nothing in the minecart that it checks for, I'm pretty sure. Shocker box, it doesn't, and the broom stand it now has, so let's remove those two. Um, otherwise, we can verify that others still exist and they haven't been broken. So we can do that, and we'll break this, for example. And we can see it's there, and we can verify that it's now not available anymore, as I'm just getting, of course. Uh, otherwise, though, I think that's it for like the basics there. Um, let's see, there is a hotkey of the left alt key to search for things directly, either from inventory or REI. So just go to, for example, spider eye, for example, why not? And uh, so let's see, left alt. It's not just what's in hand, I think. 
So we do that. Let's see. Ah, right, because we haven't interacted with it. That's why. So left alt, that's not going to do anything. Left alt now it will. And left alt, that will also disappear. The fade out, and left alt and REI will also work. So there's that. Uh, otherwise, NBT, I guess. So we'll do enchantment. So I've enchanted books, uh, there's protection 2 book, um, potions we'll try, uh, no instant health 2, and shock box inventories apparently. So let's we'll just put say some stuff in here, and we'll verify, we'll do that, we'll go and enchant book, and we'll go potion. So we'll just update, I guess. So we'll display those. Um, can we do a tool that has durability and have it still display its information? For example, though, let's break these for example because we don't need them. Put that in there. That's going to display because obviously it's just the item, so it doesn't matter that much. All right. So let's see. Other than that, naming block. So the block has been meaning some land for the wind type of sure above them. So we can do that. Alright, so we'll just go to this and we'll just go say some chest plates. Go to Anvil. So we need a name tag. Or we need um actually you can just name a chest, can't you? Yeah. We'll just go with creative, because we're not um Armor chest, for example, we'll do that. And nothing there. Okay, so we do need this um, uh, chest of um, pieces. Or do we need this, for example? I have no idea. Go to the regular chest, I assume. Whoop. Oh, okay, so now it's worked out. It's kind of strange. Okay. Just sort of messed up somewhere, I think. So we've got this. Let's do this. Let's see, we might want to change it with that. Can I do this with this? I don't think I can. No, I can't. So that's the case there. My oops, I can't create it, unfortunately. So I have to go into survival. And we can see the armor there. And can we check my armor? Um, but it's got a new chest name there, I guess. Let's put that. So, armor, nothing. Can't search, read, I guess? I don't know, I don't think I can search names. I cannot see the chest. Oh, okay, here we go. So, chest plate, and that's about it. And the scroll bar. Uh, I guess that is it though. Uh, we'll check the keybinds and see if it can be changed from what it originally is at left alt, which you can see in here for search items, so that's an option. And that is everything as far as I can tell. Obviously favoriting is just you know, selecting there and not and forgetting and resetting and otherwise we've already covered. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it for just sort of those elements. There is, however, two other aspects to consider. There is a chest tracker folder here, which you can see, which is specifically for the world I have here, which is specifying all the sort of items and chests and, you know, inventory position and such as well. So we've got, for example, said position here, it's in the overworld dimension. Um, there's lapis blocks here, there's a stack of 64 specifically. We've favorited the block. And uh, yeah, then it sort of just goes through all the others of there's the next inventory, next inventory, next inventory, and so on. And obviously the boom stand's not favorited, so yeah. So that's where it tracks all the stuff prior that it's mentioning, obviously. And uh, there is also configs as well, which pretty much allows you to change certain aspects, such as miscellaneous options of block interaction types, which are block entities specifically. Um, rather than I assume like certain others. So it'll be, you know, things like a furnace and brewing stand and this and the other compared to say, I guess, a villagers or certain others, I guess, like a shock box or a 
Minecart with a chest, I guess, where they kind of differ slightly. So I guess maybe you could change them out. Uh, we will actually check them on menu because that might have that'll have a better approach to showing them actually. So we've got block entities all. Um, we'll actually check to see what that does. So that might include maybe not. Um, I don't know, but uh, there is obviously an option for all entities as well besides just block specific entities, I guess. We've got debug printing, if you wanted to print out stuff, I guess, with debug information. Um, so I assume that's every time it's get tracking something, every time I've opened an inventory, and for those that it will track. So you can have that information displayed. If you don't want it, obviously you can remove it. Um, let's see, so we'll reset that. Uh, for visual options, you've got an inventory outline fade time, so that's obviously the sort of one that goes around the block when you're searching. Um, you've got the outline width, you've got the color, which is greenish by default, or blue, as usual, um, with a uh, you know, certain thing on the screen currently, but it might light and such. Um, so it doesn't make it difficult to tell. Uh, otherwise, you've got name render range, which I assume is for the particular one there, maybe? I think that's what that's for. The name tag itself, making it visible. I'm not too sure, and I keep hitting things, so it's not as clear. Okay, so that's about it, I guess. We'll check again. Reset that. Yes, we can't see it, so that's for the name tag specifically. Above inventories, and you've got the button positions of wherever you want them. So that's the favorite, and uh, uh, the chest tracker sort of magnifying glass icon there. Uh, otherwise, we've got. I guess it's just blue. Um, so sometimes, let's see, uh, you've got a. Track GUI's block list, apparently. So, different classes and such here. Uh, sometimes the mod may remove items that should not be remembered, such as a crafting table and other such things. Uh, the screen allows you to prevent certain GUI's from that. So, obviously, if you know and not what many of these mean, then you can tweak those. I obviously don't, so uh, I can't exactly tell them that much. But obviously, there's many of those listed in the track screens part of the configs. So, we covered those. Uh, and otherwise there is a whitelist or black block list, I guess, of certain things to ignore. So the shulker box by default is ignored um, here, as you can see. But you can add others, uh, other types of inventories if you want, like I guess the brewing stand, for example, where we could actually use favoriting and um, have it tracked, but uh, if we didn't, then we could put that there. Or if we don't want the shulker box to be prevented, then we could obviously change that. But uh, yeah. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.